What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. So apparently the Pokemon company decided to just randomly drop a new Pokemon on us. And from the research I was doing, it looks like it hasn't actually been officially announced here in the States, but Cerebi did tweet out the trailer for it. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys my initial reaction to this new Pokemon. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button since it helps your girl out. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the Scarlet and Violet games so we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that everybody can stay up to date on the latest news about it. And if you would like another way to support the channel so that I can keep pushing out fun content for you guys, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link in the description to my link tree that takes you to my merch store. I have all kinds of fun stuff on there from hoodies to hats to joggers and even a mug with my signature quote on it. But let's hop into what you guys are here for, which is the newest Pokemon that was just added to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Bye. Bye. Okay, so Cerebi did post the actual trailer on YouTube for everyone to watch. I don't think that this is in English. I think it is English subbed though. So I have the volume up in case you wanna hear, but I, I'm gonna have to read subs. Okay, so we're on the beach. What kind of Pokemon will live on the beach? Oh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I was literally just telling the story to my Twitch chat about how when I was little and the first time I saw a sand crab, I was terrified because I thought it was a white cockroach. And so now I'm a little concerned. Is this, <laughs> is this the same thing? But seem, is it Diglett? Okay, so is this a variant? Never seen, never seen a Pokemon quite like it. The coloring is different, so. Okay, so they're 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 debating if it's a regional form. Which if it is, I mean that's a cool What the heck? They're long! <gasps> what the An evolved form of Diglett? Okay, so maybe they're thinking that this is like a separate branch of evolution because of their environment. Instead of turning into Doug Trio, they turned into like a marine version of Diglett. Which is interesting. Okay. I mean I like that they're adding like a real life aspect of like evolution into it. The notes are cut off. What is this Pokemon? Fill time with a survey. A survey? 15 seconds? What? What's happening? Oh, we're, it's a literal actual <laughs> survey. If anybody knows what this says, let me know because I have no idea what's happening over here. But apparently we have to kill 15 seconds of time with this survey. We got three seconds, two, one. What's the answer? Nice. No idea what it says, but nice survey. <laughs> Can we go back to this regional variant, please? Okay, here we go. The Paldean form hypothesis? Would a ground type Diglett live near water like this in the first place? That's true. I wouldn't expect Diglett to be by the ocean. Okay, they agree. It is a different color, like a regional variant. based off of those little eels that live in the sand and poke their heads out of the sand. Um, I think they're called like spotted garden eels, which are super cute. So I actually kind of love that. What forms and movements indeed look like Diglett, but they're probably a different Pokemon. <gasps> so it's its own thing. It's not even, it's not a regional variant. It's not an evolution of Diglett. It's literally its own Pokemon. Pokemon that lives on the beach or the sea of the Pal- Where the <laughs> What the heck? They've learned, they eat different. They're entirely different Pokemon. So this is a brand new Pokemon and his name is Wiglet. Oh my God. And apparently it's just a coincidence that they share similarities with Diglett. Probably because they both burrow in the ground is what it's saying. What the, yeah, that was a bomb. Okay, I love it. Wiglet, it's so cute. What the heck? I kind of like it more than Diglett. I'm not gonna lie. Just look at him. He's so derpy. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, that's it for today. So that is our newest Pokemon that we just got introduced into Scarlet and Violet. Oh my gosh, what an incredible discovery. Who knew that, that kind of Pokemon existed? Well, apparently none of us did. Pokemon World Ecology Society. Oh my gosh. Well, that was actually super cute. I kind of love it. Wiglet is actually adorable. And if you want to see what eels I was talking about, I'll put them on screen here so you can see the similarities because that was the first thing I thought of when I saw them is these cute little eels. I am wondering if this is what people have been tweeting about when it comes to the leaks for the Paradox forms or if this is something completely different and this is just a new Pokemon that they kind of based off of Diglett. I'm also curious for when they actually do end up posting this trailer in the US to see if we'll maybe get a little bit more information like we did 
did when they announced Psych Lazar and Grafai Eyes. So I'm interested in seeing how they're gonna announce this Pokemon here in the States. And I'm honestly hoping that this is actually a real trailer, which it seems pretty official, but I do still have that little nagging thought in the back of my head. But let me know what you guys think of Wiglet. I love it, I think it's adorable, and I love that it is a completely separate Pokemon from Diglett. I'm also curious to see what typing they're actually gonna end up being. I feel like because they mentioned Diglett being a ground type Pokemon and it being strange that it's near the ocean, I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a ground water type so that it kind of meshes the two together. But like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What typing do you think it's gonna be? Do you like this Pokemon? Any thoughts are appreciated. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you would like to support the channel in a different way, feel free to check out the merch store in the link tree down below and all my other socials are listed down below as well in case you wanna keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But that's gonna be it for me today. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.